Hey guys, welcome back to yet another uh, video here. Today, I bring to you the five most amazing Minecraft adventure mods of all time. You should get them, because they're really cool. Like, seriously. The Lucky Block mod is a must-have mod for all of you adventure people. You can craft the Lucky Block in a recipe that I don't know because I'm not very good at remembering recipes or you can be fortunate enough to find them in a place like this this is a lucky block this is what happens if you break it whoa I got spawn eggs that's just one of the many things that can actually happen you can get pretty unlucky oh a giant I guess I was pretty lucky let's just hop into creative here and grab a few more open them you can see what some of them are like hopefully my world won't be destroyed I've only already opened one so we'll put four down game modes here enchantment table wow I'm pretty lucky today <gasps> I haven't gotten a single bad one yet Okay, that wasn't good. These are uh these are from other things from another mod. And wow. Wow, I got really lucky there. Some other things that can happen are well, I'm not going to spoil it. You should find out what you have for yourself. Oh hey, let's just punch this cow. This rare breed of cow this will be a great uh collection for my taxonomy. What? Oh, oh, what happened? That's right, folks. What? I'm still me. Well. The morph mod is an amazing mod that allows you to, once you killed, morph into any mob in the game. Want to be one of these strange little worms from another mod? Or this cow? Well, I'll just start punching until you find one. Oh! Uh, uh, I didn't know that small worms were that vicious. The morph mod is an amazing mod that allows you to, uh, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory, morph into anything. And, you'll get those abilities too, so now I'm a sheep. Well, sheep can't do much more, but, be smaller, but this flying butterfly, once on upon death, we will morph into, and, I wonder what will happen, if I can ever punch him. It's hard, uh, it's hard being a cow. <gasps> I got wood. I'm so lucky. I've already gotten an achievement. Once killed, you can then go here to the butterfly morph. I wonder what happens when I morph into a butterfly. I can fly. That's right, guys. I only have one heart because, you know, butterflies aren't known for their strength, but I can fly. And everybody knows that butterflies can't go in water. I drowned. Oh well. I'm pretty sure most of you are familiar with the Twilight Forest mod. This mod Although it may seem little at first, get away from me, termite. There we go. Although this mod may seem little at first, there is quite the quests involved. So, with this simple portal, you can go to this legendary dimension. And in this dimension, I never would have guessed why this would be on this list. It definitely doesn't have these huge quests all the time. Now if my terrain ever downloads, I could show you, but my, the terrain just doesn't want to download. It's pretty sad. But there is this whole array of quests that you can go on. Uncover mysteries, go to the top of the sky with the land of the giants, or go underground in the maze of, you know, that, the minotaur, yeah, that guy, the cow thing.
tired of those tiny dungeons that you find in the uh, regular Minecraft? Well, the Chocolate Quest mod is for you. Because with this epic mod, it adds tons of new dungeons to explore. All ready for you to jump into. These places are huge and have lots of spawners. So I didn't bring a pickaxe. That was pretty dumb of me. These places are huge and get and you can get tons of loot and special armor and swords like the ones I am wearing right now. You want these uh, this epic sword and shield? I have a shield. I can block your arrows and your attacks. See, look at that, doing no damage. All right, I'm running. Oh, I starved to death. And also, that was the epic armor I was wearing. Fit for a crown like a king for me. Wait, what? No. Fit. For a king with a crown like me. Yeah, fit with a king for a crown like me. No, wait. Fit for a king with a crown like me. No. Like you. Like, I don't know. Regardless. Really it's epic. All this coming from a mile away. But for those of you that haven't, Orspawn is a huge mod. It has four dimensions, epic bosses, and this overpowered armor that I have, this overpowered super huge sword, and this ultimate bow. And this, Momzilla. Yeah. That guy's easy compared to the king. It would take ages for me to show all of this fighting, but I want this morph. Back in the day, when the morph mod uh, allowed you to uh, have the same amount of health, you could play as a bird and just completely go up and murder him. But now, it's actually a little bit hard. This overpowered armor, though, will keep me protected from most things. Like, look at the, this fire. His fireballs aren't doing a thing. Sh shooting him in the butt with arrows. It's epic. And this goes without saying, but... Number one, it's laggy. And number two, all of these epic mods need forge. And a couple need some other uh, bridger mods, but that's nothing. If you, if you, oh, oh, he's murdering some girlfriends and boyfriends. Yep, there's girlfriends and boyfriends in Orspawn. This is also a different dimension. That's hence the huge trees. I'll shoot your fireballs back at you. And my royal guardian sword will, uh, I don't know. If you guys want to see us play, like, have a let's play with these mods well tell that us that in the comment section down below and me and smelly will happily do so what I haven't even uh so yeah even with the best stuff in the game this is a hard fight I might have to take my chance and morph into a bird the only thing about morphing into a bird now is my health Fight! What? Mobzilla? I only have uh, one. Usually his hitbox is around, around here. Around his feet. Around his feet, because... You're not supposed to be able to fly and hit him. But, shh. I'll just be a... Uh, see, we've already been fighting and... That just shows you how much health he has. But that means that if you kill him and get the morph, you'll have that much health too. Um, I'm inside a uh, Momzilla. Momzilla. Do you... Re yeah, there we go. Where? Wait, where is that hitbox? Come on, Momzilla. Can't you feel the pain? I'm whacking at you with a huge, massive blade. 
I'm, I'm hitting you in the head with it. I'm s I'm poking your eyes out. I'm cutting up your teeth, Mobzilla. Well, I don't know what to say. I'll go in for the toe jam. Nope. Anyways, it's an epic mod. You should get it. And let us know if you want to see us play it. Because if you can't get it, the next best thing is to watch somebody else play it. Wow! Yeah. Your world will be destroyed if you fight him. Fight him in costume. I don't even know where he is anymore. So that will wrap up this short little fun thing. I really wanted to kill Mobzilla. Maybe we should start with an easier one. Game mode 1. You know, it's not like the Kraken is hard at all, right? The Kraken is one of the bosses that you need to fight in order to get Big Bertha, one of the best swords in the game. It's super long, just plus 500 attack damage. Wait, I grabbed a... Guys, don't let me do that again. It wastes time in the video. I have to... Yeah, I need to get the Kraken tooth from him. The Kraken! Is there, like, a Kraken spawn egg? I guess we're just going to have to release him from this tiny cage. Also, sorry about the lag, you know, recording, and, you know, let's just let the Kraken loose. Nothing can go wrong. Whoa! Alright, Kraken, come at me. Kraken. Oh! Kraken! Yeah. Meet the ultimate bow. The best bow in the game, Mr. Kraken. Also, can you, uh, make the rain stop, Kraken? If you make it rain, it lags, and then you have a severe advantage. If I'm lagging my game out. Mr. Kraken. I have my settings on super low right now. And I still can't manage to fight this Kraken. The only bad thing about fighting Krakens is eventually you go so high, he, you force him out of existence because you reach the max uh, height. There, I shot him in the his big eye. It should be called the eye or... Whoa, whoa, hey, hey Kraken. Come back here! This sword, if you didn't uh, know, has a uh, better range too because, yeah. Also, it might you might think it's hard to get 64 notch apples. Well, not in this. Ores just are really easy to find, but krakens aren't because you can't find them. Actually, you can, but still. Oh, I hit him once. Oh yeah, I hit the Kraken once. You guys don't want to see this. See you all in the next couple of videos. Probably having some ARC coming right up. Haven't been on ARC in ages, actually. See ya next time.